I'm getting old. And frankly, you're not getting any younger. So let's talk about not hurting our backs by taking gear and carrying it over our shoulders. Uh, this is a bag from Newer that I wanted to look at. Generally, when I'm going out for a shoot, I've got this Big Man Frotto tripod bag that I often don't even bring the tripod with me. I think that bag is more valuable than the tripod. I just stuff that thing with light stands, smaller tripods, lights, extension cords, XLR, whatever I can, I just cram it in there and then zip it up till the, the zipper's about to burst. Um, I don't wanna do that anymore because I'm lugging that thing over my shoulder and carrying something else, usually a backpack with my camera in it. That's ridiculous. So, I picked this up. This is about 200 bucks Canadian, so 160 US. Uh, Let's move these suckers aside. So it's from newer, uh, newer, who knows? Uh, but their older models that they had only seem to have this kind of top handle on it. And that's cool and all, but what this guy has is this. Uh, there you go. So this comes out, I'm not exactly sure how high, but about, I think, 40 inches. This case itself is 33 inches, I believe, high, uh, but that probably includes the wheels. And it's about 11 deep. I think it's nine across. So it's the medium size, as far as I could tell. Uh, let's take a look in here. So, so we got a slot for a business card, always nice. Um, then a double zipper. And there you go. Look how capacious that is. So it's maybe a little hard to tell from this overhead cam how deep this is, but let's put it this way. So what comes in here? Essentially three dividers, uh, a nice gel silica pack if you want it, and uh, ooh, instructions. Dear customer, thank you for your recent purchase. My name is Jun Wang and I am the president of Newer Technology. So that's not even instructions. All right, so that's really all there is to this thing. It's uh, got the three dividers. Uh, it's got some zippers here, which are just, uh, if you wanted to take out the padding, not the padding, but the so there's foam here and there's uh, plastic, hard plastic sides, which are kind of nice. Zip that back up. Uh, pretty simple, frankly. And here's a nice zippered section if you just want to stuff in something nice and uh, skinny. But let's talk about capacity. So this, I think, is the medium size. They seem to have a 42 inch version, which I think, I think that's nine inches more. It does not have this guy on that version. So this is why I went with this one because I think it's just probably easier than uh, having this kind of plastic handle in the middle of the bag to have something at the back. Uh, but uh, the price you're gonna pay for that is what are you gonna be able to fit in this thing? So let's take a tiny light stand. This is about, uh, I think it's 31 inches, 32 inches long when folded up. Perfect, it fits in uh, like a dream. Here's a medium sized light stand. Oh, doesn't quite fit. So it's, I mean, I could get it in if I were to take out the pin. Uh, actually, you can't take the pin out of this one, so never mind that. It won't go in. And here's a large size stand, and that won't fit in either. So be mindful of that. If you have a lot of bigger light stands, you're not going to be able to use this size bag. You're going to want something a little larger. But let's talk about what we can fit in there. So we can fit one, two, three, four, five, six little light stands. Let's get a nice Came TV Fresnel. Stick that in there. Here you go. Another Came TV uh, Fresnel. Capacity wise, that's pretty good. Now here's the one thing I get a little nervous about with this is that everything relies on this zipper. So if it were to break, uh, it would be pretty awful because that's what's holding everything in and holding everything together. Another thing I wanted to mention is the wheels. The wheels are rollerblady kind of material, uh, so rubbery. And they've got these nice little housing guards on it, plastic guards. Um, I've had this a day. I got it yesterday. 
brought it here to work, took transit to do it just to test this out, and it wasn't bad. You know, it's size-wise, what I think about this is that it's the narrowness of it makes it pretty easy to manage if you are in a situation like a bus full of people. It, it really wasn't too bad. I could just stick it under my legs almost or right up against me, and it wasn't like falling over all the time, which I was impressed because the driver on some of these buses are insane. Like the guy this morning was hitting the brakes pretty fast and it didn't fall over. It's pretty sturdy, uh, thanks to these nice little feet at the bottom. So why would you want this? Um, I've used a suitcase to bring stuff to gigs and I'm not gonna say it's, it's a terrible way to go. Obviously they're, they're much cheaper. And uh, the, what I find though is that they don't offer that much protection either to your gear or to the bag. Having the hard plastic sides I think is worth it. Uh, keeps everything locked in. For longer equipment before I've used a golf travel bag where like uh, basically a bag that you put your golf club bag in and those things are pretty cheap and they have the same kind of roller blade wheels. They're long so you can get things much longer than this in there. The problem is they're almost always soft. I've never seen a hard surfaced one or like a hard backed one. If you don't put long enough stuff into a golf travel bag, then they end up bending in the middle and it, it gets really awkward to pull them around. Whereas something like this, because it's hard, it's got the, the handle on the bottom, I think it's gonna make life easier for me just dragging equipment out to places. Uh, so that's this bag from newer. Also, bongo drums. I don't have rhythm.